Hey everybody, it's Mr. Patak here. So um, this is going to be our second main Latin assignment for um, class online. This is going to be Minimus chapter eight. The story is called Rufus Learns His Letters. Um, I noticed in the last one, there were at least a few problems, like some people thought it was too long or got confused um, because I wasn't there to ask for help. So on this assignment, um, I'm going to be going a lot slower than last week's assignment. Um, and I'm going to be breaking it up into more than one part, into two parts. And um, I'm going to be talking about the sentences in English as, as much as I can. I'm going to be giving you a few answers. So um, this one hopefully will be a little bit easier than the one that we did last week. Let's go ahead and get started. So um, Rufus was, of course, learning Greek. Last time he got a Greek teacher and his Greek teacher was telling him about, you know, the sorts of adventures he had been on and stuff. In this one, it's called Rufus Learns His Letters and he's practicing writing, obviously, the Greek letters. I'm going to read for you boxes one and two and then I'm going to break them down for you. So, Fakile est mihi has litera scribere. Rufus blah 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 scribe um i don't know the names of the greek letters or how to say them so i'm just going with blah 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 said difficile est mihi has litera scribere rufus blah 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 scribe so you'll notice in one and two the first thing that rufus says is facile est mihi then there's a something very similar sounding, difficile est mihi, in the second one. So let's look at those a little bit more closely. When he says facile est mihi, he looks very happy. When he says difficile est mihi, he does not look very happy. And look at his paper. Nice letters there, scribbles there. Um, so he's having a very easy time writing them here and a very difficult time writing them here. So, facile is easy and difficult. Difficile is difficult. Then he's saying, well, it's easy for me. It's difficult for me. In Latin, you have to add that um, for me to make it clear. So, facile est mihi, it is easy for me. Difficile est mihi, it is difficult for me. So, let's look at the whole box one a little bit closer. Facile est mihi. Has litera scribere. It is easy for me. Has litera scribere. All right, well, scribere, we should know. It's write. So it is easy for me, write. And then we have has literas. It's what he's writing. Literas sounds a lot like letters. So that's what it is. Then has must mean the specific letters he's doing. These. So putting it all together, it is easy for me, it is easy for me to write these letters. And then the narrator says, Rufus blah 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 scribe it. Rufus writes, and then the letters that he writes, blah blah blah. Then let's look at number two a little bit more closely. Same exact sentence. But it says difficile instead of facile. So it is difficult for me to write these letters. And then again, we have Rufus blah, 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 scribe. Rufus writes blah, blah, blah. So that's one and two. Let's look at three now. So in three, his teacher comes to him. This is his Greek teacher. Um, and I'm going to read it first in Latin completely, and then I'll break it down for you guys. A yuge rufe diligenter laboras. Tandem rufus omnes literas graecas discit. So first his teacher comes in, and his teacher is really excited, and he says, A yuge rufe. So if your teacher is happy... Um, what do you think a yuge might mean? Hooray, Rufus, is what he's saying. Diligenter laboras. Now he's saying something about what he's doing. 
he's not just saying hooray now, he's saying diligenter laboras. Well, he's saying you're working very diligently, or you're working diligently. The S on the end of a word means you. You are working diligently. This one, I don't know how you would get it without looking up some words, but here's what it says. Tandem rufus omnes literas graecas discit. At last, rufus learns, and then you have all the Greek letters. At last, rufus learns all the Greek letters. In box four, let me read the Latin. Rufus Dius Gribebat Nunc Festus Est. So he's at the end of his school day. Rufus Dius Gribebat. Now notice how Scribebat sounds a little bit different from what we had up here. We had Scribe in these two. We had Rufus Scribe, Rufus Scribe. So now that we're saying scribe bot down here, what do you think that's that's going on for? Well, it has something to do with the boxes that I gave you. It's a it's a tense thing. Um, this is what he is doing now, but this is the past scribe bot, and then du just means for a long time, and then the next line, nunc festus est. Now he is tired. Festus, tired. And box five. Now his teacher comes in and says, Graecia pulcra est, necesse eritivi graeciam visitare, praecipue delpos. Let's break that down. So, Rufus is learning Greek, and Graecia sounds an awful lot like Greek or Greece. So this is the country Greece. Um, the teacher says Greece is. Well, Greece is what? It is pulkra. So if you don't know what pulkra is, of course, you can look it up in the dictionary. It is a word we've had before. It means pretty. Greece is pretty. And then the next line, a little complicated. Nekesse eretibi. That's kind of like fakile est mihi, difficile est mihi. Instead, it's nekesse eretibi. Um, this is like necessary. It sounds like that. Eret means will be. And then tibi is not me, because mihi was me. Tibi is you, because he's talking to you. So he says, it will be necessary for you. Visitare. Well, that sounds like visit. V to visit, and then the country again. Graecium. So altogether, this first half is, it will be necessary for you to visit Greece. Praecipue delpos. Especially, especially delpos. So Delpos or Delphi um, is this very, very famous town right here that I've circled. So his teacher wants Rufus to visit this special town called Delphi. And that's where I'm going to stop it for right now. After you've watched this video, go ahead and complete the Google form that came along with this. And that's all, guys. Thank you. Bye.